essential and non-essential goods and services. I can compare essential and non-essential goods and services provided by people in my community and describe them as wants or needs. Introduction. Think about the different places you have visited in your neighborhood. Name some stores, shops, and other places you frequently visit and why. Goods and services. People in your community depend on each other for goods and services. Stores, restaurants, and other businesses in your community sell people, goods, and services. You visit places like supermarkets, laundromats, doctor's offices, clothing stores, and salons to purchase goods or services. Why is it important to learn about goods and services? Learning about goods and services can help you prepare for your future in the world of work. It is important to consider the broad range of goods and services offered and begin thinking of products or services you can provide. Learning about goods and services can also help you understand how the economy works. Goods, goods are items that are made or grown by producers to sell to people who need or want them. When we go to the store, we are buying goods. Let's look at some examples. Which of these goods would you consider essential? Wants and needs. Wants. Goods such as bikes. Toys and electronics are considered non-essential and are wants. Although we may want them, we could live without them. Needs. Goods such as clothing, food, and hygienic products are essential or necessary for us to live healthy lives. These goods are considered essential. Turn and talk. Share some examples of goods that you have around your house. Would you consider these goods to be wants or needs? Why? Jot down your idea in your note catcher. Where do the goods belong and why? Sort the goods. Well, we know that the candy bar is a want. We know the broccoli is definitely a need. Skateboard is a want. Toothpaste is a need. Water is a need. Fruit is a need. Corn is a need. This banana is a need. Toothbrush is a need. Television is a want. We know we need some shoes on our feet. That's a need. Teddy bear, that's a want. Nail polish, that's a want. Okay. Services. Services are jobs people do to help others. Services include work done or a duty performed for people in a community. Let's look at some examples. Doctors, beauticians, and police officers. Which of these services would you consider essential? Turn and talk. Share some examples of services provided to you in your community. Would you consider these services to be wants or needs? Why? Jot down your ideas in your note catcher. 
services. Let's look at some as at more examples. What services do these people provide? Firefighter, teacher, waiter, and housekeeper. Firefighter puts out fires and keeps us safe, rescues people in danger. Teacher teaches people new skills and information to be successful. Waiter greets customers, takes our food orders and brings food and drinks. Housekeeper cleans houses professionally. Where do the services belong and why? We know that going to the dentist is definitely a need. This farmer and what he does to provide us with the food and the crops is definitely a need. We need our um, doctors and nurse and ambulance um, helpers. What else is a need? Transportation is a need. Us going to school is definitely a need. Us going to the hairdresser is a want. Us going out to eat with friends and family is a want. And us having someone to walk our dogs is actually a want, even though we can do that ourselves, right? Is it a good or a service? I'm gonna sort this. We can sort it together and then I'll click back. So to the left you have goods, to the right you have service, services. Remember, a good is an item made or grown for people to buy. Services are provided by people that help others. True or false, people depend on each other for goods and services. He said true, you are correct. True or false, people who visit stores and other businesses to purchase goods and services are buyers. He said true, you are correct. Jobs people do to help others are services. Things that are made or grown by producers to sell to people who need or want them is goods. True or false, some goods are necessary to survive while others are not. True. Which of these is a good? Bicycle. Which of these would be considered essential goods? Choose all that apply. Vegetables and clothes. Which of these would be considered non-essential goods? Toys. Which answer choice represents a service? Teacher. Choose examples of essential service jobs provided by people in our community. Doctor and police officer. What did you learn? I can compare essential and non-essential goods and services provided by people in my community and describe them as wants or needs. Define the words, goods and services, give an example of each, what is the difference between goods and services? Why is it important to learn about goods and services? Show what you know. Write a short paragraph, three to four sentences to explain the difference between a good and a service. Include some examples of goods and services that your family uses. Make a collage. Make a poster collage that includes 
pictures of the goods and services you and your family use. You can draw pictures or cut pictures out of magazines. Let's be thankful. Write a thank you letter to producers in your community who provide goods and services your family needs. Here are some ideas of people you may write to. Doctors, farmers, supermarket workers, police officers, teachers, restaurant owners. 